Hello and welcome to another video. This is part two of the iOS tutorials. On um, this one, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect the buttons with labels and actions. Uh, as you can see, I already been playing with with those. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I have a label here, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is just show you how you can do it really easy. I'm going to have another one. And we'll say last test, just testing. Now, uh, over here I have the interface of the controller file open. And at the bottom I have the implementation view controller file. Okay, so you see what's going to happen now. So what I'm going to do is first on the interface, you're going to do control on your keyboard. Well, I'm using a Windows keyboard. You're going to drag it down here, anywhere in be before the end, at end. Let it go. You get this pop up. Uh, here we need an action. And we're going to name this button as, I don't know, uh, testing action. And don't touch anything else. Just click uh, connect. And then what that is doing is generating this line of code. Obviously, you can type it, but this one is kind of easier to, to work on. And then when that happens, if you look uh, really close, I hate this mouse. So you can see here, there's a method created. So just like that net, then you can um, start using the intelligence. And label is what I name the label that you see on the screen. That's what uh, that's like the ID of it. And then we're gonna use a property, which is text that takes in a NS string. And we're gonna say equals, and just like C sharp, we do the add sign because we're gonna type a uh, text and that's it go back and then I'm gonna do file well so I'm gonna do file save just double check and we're gonna run it it's compiling okay no errors Let's see if it actually runs. Okay, there it is. They all kind of doesn't match up with the layout that I have there. So, anyways, so this is the first one. Hello, Mr. Crazy. Second is hi. And the last one we did is last test. So you see how easy it is to wire up the click on release and changing the label value. So that's it for this video. Uh, what I showed you was just to drag the controls, control, and then click to drag it to the um, interface. And then that creates a method, and then that's where you can change the text from that label. Thank you for watching.